The Passing of the Oracle The Oracle Lady Lunafreya of Tenebrae lost her life when her summoning of the Hydrine went terribly awry. Lady Lunafreya was swept under the Altistian waves alongside her fiancé, Crown Princess Noctis of Lucis. Despite falling unconscious for several days, the prince made a miraculous recovery and is currently being treated. Yeah, it sounds like what happened. The Tree of Castino? Scientists have yet to provide a sound explanation as to why the resource-rich Fodia Castino Castino has been overrun by an enormous tree. Some experts insist, however, that this floral phenomenon may have been a paranormal prelude to the awakening and annihilation of the gods. Hmm. Man, the, the tone is really changed right now. We are at our low point. Oh, did I walk I hope backwards? At least one ancestor of yours had the sense to build his tomb somewhere safe. I didn't realize I was walking backwards. Sorry, I just got like nothing to say right now. The moods are so down. It's pretty cool how people are in the way, but they move out of the way, like by chance, by the time I get up to them. The government of Accordo has declared a state of national emergency. On behalf of the nation, I would like to express our relief that King Noctis has survived. The towering waves that swept over Altisha left great destruction in their wake. It will take time to- Actually, it's my first time. It's gorgeous. I have no doubt you'll love it there. Still no sign of Lady Lutheran. No of distinction. It's not looking good. What will we give to see her again? an arm and a leg for this slot? That's Imperial quality for you. High Commander Foray has been deemed accountable for Altisha's tragedy. I take it you visit often? Of course. I'm proud to call Tenebrae my home. You wanna head to the dining car? Anything in Cartanica worth stopping for? I doubt it, but we'll be there long enough to find out. The train is now arriving. One step closer to finding the next tomb. Yeah. 
Oh, yep, this is a totally new land. The Hand of the King. Gather information about the Royal Tomb. Okay. Let's change back. The mood is still so down. Please help me. Huh? Oh, please, sir. Could you help me look for Yelro, Jaro, Becky, and Joe? Who? I'll look for who, 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 and who? My darling baby chocobos. I thought I'd take them on a trip to see the world, but now they're off seeing it without me. They can't have gone too far. They can barely flap their wings. Oh, they must be so scared. Won't you help me find them? Yeah, okay. Jeez. Did you say chocobos? Heck yeah! We gotta save the little chicklings. <sighs> if you boys are heading into the mine, you best go prepared. Blood sword. A blade once wielded by a warrior called the Dark Knight. It absorbs the health of those that strikes it. Oh, huh. I didn't see that in Batman. Thunderbolt. Hmm. Oh, what's Gladio using? This is a pretty good weapon. Wyvern Lance, I believe Ignis is already using that. Delta Daggers. Um, let's see. So expensive. Flame gun. Oops, uh, for prompto. Inflicts fire. You already have that. Oracle card. Come back again. Okay, so um You got a new sword, that's that's it. Thunderbolts. Lightning. Prompto got some fire gun pistols. Okay. Welcome, boys. We don't have much, but you're welcome to browse at your leisure. My leisure, you say? Thank you. Come again. Oh. Zebu. I take it you've arrived safely, Highness? Yeah. Now I've just got to find out where this royal tomb is. Look no further than the Fodina Castino. There should be an elevator leading down to the quarry from the station. Roger. Good luck. And hold your nose. What? Thanks for the advice, I guess. Ooh, this place stinky. Ride the elevator down the mine. Hey kid, help me out here. You probably already know how the quarry's closed off due to an unexplained accident. What no. you probably don't know, however, is that this journalist is looking to be the first to get the real scoop on the situation. The thing is, the quarry's crawling with ferocious beasts, and my pen is mightier than my sword. Well, actually, I don't have a sword. But you do. That's why I want you to go down there and take some photos on my behalf. First, I'll need three shots of that big machine while you're at it. I also need one of the abandoned shed down there. Thanks, kid. Another journalist, huh? Why ask for help when you can just demand it? You ain't no Dino. 
Welp. Bye, lads. Now, whatever it is, it'll have to wait. I'm putting my genius to paper. Your voice sounds edited. Broken harmonica. Ah, just like my heart. Hey! Is that... Oh, come here, little guy. Oh, they're so cute. Rare coin. Hey, There's prompt. an elevator that should take us straight down to the mine. Wonder if the tomb's inside. Those two went to grab a bite in that glorified dining car they call a restaurant. Listen, kid. You may be dead set on going down there, but you're set to end up dead if you do. Yeah. Like Luna Freya. <laughs> Laser sensor. Welcome. What's on your minds? But Take you a got look it. at the menu. Set dinner course. Oh yeah, that's that's very very microwave friendly. Yeah, I'll eat it. Okay. I'll eat it. And I'll like it too. We'll see you around. I won't be seeing Lady Luna Freya around. <laughs> I can sleep here. Chrome bit. Antidote. A desolate district in the eastern reaches of the western continent. The railway that transects imperial territory still stops at the station, but few board the Magna Fordia from Cartanica these days. The elevated ra uh, railroad platform offers an expansive view of the surrounding area. Retaining walls hold back soil on the Suckarp mountain slopes, while gas and oil fields pepper the ground below. The famed Fodia Castino can also be seen from the station with an elevator providing direct access. Oh my gosh. Niflheim sought to recover and restore the magic technology of old as the key to ensuring the nation's future prosperity, but mass production of said magic technology Required enormous quantities of oil and coal, and thus the Empire set its sights on Cartanica, a once lively town rife with natural fuels after the imp Empire had its fill. However, the city was left a shell of its former self, drained of its resources and devoid of human life. Same. Remedy. There's no remedy for this broken heart. will still be some while before I recover emotionally! Okay. I'm done. <laughs> I'm done with this bit. Oh! There, there. Pet Choco Chick. I love that word, Choco Chick. I want a Choco Chick. Oh, they're so cute! They're just like baby chicks, but the size of chickens! Mm, 
Mega Potion. <laughs> Did that run look good? That was, that was kind of tricky to pull off. My joysticks are very sensitive. Um, yeah, that's... Place... I wonder where the other chicks are. Oh! They're there! No, no, they're there! Come here, little chick! So cute! You hear those little chick noises? One more. Ether. Beautiful bottle. Where's that last chick? He's all probably all scared and alone? Naked and afraid? I don't know where that- I don't know where the last chick is. Did he run inside the train? Maybe he's down. Well, did you find them? Not yet. Yeah, maybe maybe he's down. I didn't check down here, right? Just I know one of them was here. Okay. <clears throat> hmm. I don't think it would be down there. Like, I really don't. But, like, it could be. I don't want to- I don't want to give up on this last chick. I know it's got to be somewhere. There! <laughs> you can't- I knew it! There, there! I got you! That makes four. 
You darn tootin'. All the chicks are saved. I'll bet you don't know why they closed Casino off to the public. I'll bet you don't either. These spelunkers found Here you go. Oh, thank you. Aren't they just the cutest? They sure the are. Adorable choco chicks in the world. <laughs> <laughs> They're just there now. That's cute. I gotta get a picture of these cute little birds. Oops, no. Zoom. And... There. Too bad I don't know how to see it, but... No, it's fine. Okay. Well, next time, we'll take on the shaft. <laughs>